Okay, boys and girls. We started our shape book last week, and so far we've made the circle, the square, the rectangle, the star, the heart, and the triangle. So today we're gonna make a diamond, an oval, and a hexagon. At the very end, we're gonna make a cover for it called My Shape Book. We'll add it to all the other ones we've made. So the first one we're gonna do is a diamond. So I'm gonna grab a bluish crayon. And on the bottom of my paper, I'm gonna write diamond, which is D, I, A, M, O, N, D, diamond. A diamond also has four sides like a square and like a rectangle. But you can see how these are more angled to make the diamond shape. So for this one, I'm gonna almost kind of make like a triangle first. So I'm gonna take one line here like that. And then on the other side, I'm gonna also go down. Now remember, if we close this here, we would make a triangle. We don't want a triangle today, we want a diamond. So on here, I'm gonna go back down to a point, and I'm gonna grab and connect these two lines together to make another point. So let's go ahead and color in our diamond. There we go, just like that. And when I'm done with my diamond, I'm gonna put it in my book. So now I have my diamond and I'm going to put it on the last page we did which was the triangle because I know diamond is going to go next. Now we're going to do an oval. I'm going to do a brown because I like to match but you don't have to do a brown if you don't want to. So an oval is O V A L, oval. If you look at the oval, what does it look like to you? It looks like an egg to me. Or maybe even someone's head if you put some eyes and a nose and some hair. It definitely looks like an egg to me. So an oval is kind of like making a circle just a little bit stretched out. So I have my brown crayon. For this one, you don't have to pick your crayon up. It's gonna be one continuous motion. And ovals can be tricky to draw, so don't worry. But I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna go down a little bit farther than I would my circle and bring it back up to make my oval. And of course, I'm gonna color in my oval brown. Can you guys think of anything else in your house that looks like an oval? Oval's kind of tricky, right? When you think about it, because I already said egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and color that in. Remember, like I said before, if you're not finished coloring your in, just put it to the side, and whatever color you started on, you could finish coloring that part up. I don't want anyone to race through it. All right, I'm coloring in my oval. So now we've done almost all. How many shapes do we have total? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one more shape to do, plus our cover page. So our book will be a total of 10 pages, the nine shapes plus the top page. So I'm gonna put my oval underneath my diamond. Get it ready. And now we're gonna do the hexagon. Now the hexagon can be a little tricky. So let's write the word hexagon. H E X A G O N. So we have hexagon. Now, if we were going to do hexagon in syllables, it would be hexagon. So there are three different beats or sounds in that word. Oval would be oval, diamond, triangle, heart, star, rectangle. Square, circle. 
All right, the hexagon is a little trickier. So for this one, we're gonna make a line like that at the top. Now, when we do a triangle, we have slanted lines. So it's kind of like we're making the slanted lines, but we're doing it off a straight line, not a point like the triangle. So I'm gonna make two slanted lines off my top line. And then I need them to kind of slant back down, just like that. And then we have two things left here, so we're going to connect them. So you can see a hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six sides, like when we talked about the beehives. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in my hexagon. So now we have our hexagon. Now remember, if you haven't finished coloring that in, you can do it at the end. So the hexagon is our last page. So let's go over what we've made so far. We have our circle, our square, our rectangle, our star, our heart, our triangle, our diamond, our oval, and the hexagon. So now we're gonna take another piece of blank paper. And for this, get any color you want. I think I'm gonna use purple. And we're going to write this on it. My, which is M, Y, which is also one of your sight words. I want everyone to write my right at the top. And then we're gonna write the word shape. So shape is S H A P E. So so far now we have my shape. And we need one more word on there. We're gonna write the word book. So then we're gonna write book. B O O K. So we have my shape book. There's one other thing I wanna put on this page. Can anybody guess what it would be? This is what I want us to write. I want us to write on the bottom here, by your name. So I'm gonna put by Miss Laura. Just like that. So I want everyone, it can be by Antonio, by Arvet, Ava, Camila, Eric, Ethan, Jacobo, Lucas, Marler, Neela, Peyton, Sloan, and Valentina. By whoever is writing that. So now I'm gonna take my cover and kind of line them up like this. And if your mom or dad has a stapler, we can staple it. So not you, this will be your parents to do. I'm gonna staple mine together. So now I have my shape book. So I hope everyone loves their shape book. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the day today. And I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday. Bye-bye.